Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. It is 11.30 already. I have wasted the day alone. Um, yeah, I've wasted the day. Um, I don't know why it looks so dark in here. Anyways, did not get much sleep last night. I didn't get to bed till about three this morning, so hence as to why I slept so late. So hopefully I can get to bed earlier tonight. Um, so yeah, you can tell I'm dazed. I'm half asleep. Mason got up around three o'clock and would not go back to sleep. So explains why I'm so tired today. So. I need to get a little bit of cleaning done around here, but first, I'm gonna get myself dressed and see if that helps me wake up. So I'm planning to go to the flea market sometime this coming week. It's Saturday now uh, because it went under new ownership and I'm upgrading to a bigger size. I'll show you why. So let me show you the two boxes that I'm working on. I've got to go through all the three to six month clothes but a lot of them will be going to the flea market um but i'm trying to invest in just like kids hangers because that's what i specialize in i do new stuff and i do used so this was in that bag sale i have not even filmed that video so y'all won't be seeing these few things that i got for resale in that video because i've already priced them and put them on hangers i just put my booth number on my hanger so they know who's who's this was all three of those were from the bag sale. So I think all of this, except for a few of them, were. This was one of them. This is another one. I got, it was $15 for a bag, but it was a kitchen garbage size bag, and mine was full to the top. Because I needed six to nine months, and then I wanted some for resale. So, this is another one. That's not from the same thrift store, but it is from one. <coughs> Sorry. Sleeper Mason has never worn. This is one I bought for resale. And then just some pajamas that he's worn that he's outgrown. Swim trunks. These snacky type items to go in there. Let's see. And then who knows? I forgot to take my Zyrtec last night. So the allergies are kicking my butt today. A bunch of crock charms that I bought off of Timu will be going in there. There's like 30 bags of these. A bunch of stickers from Timu. I put them for like 25 cents a piece. Um, the beads I got in from Amazon and it, I decided not to return them, but I was going to um, resell them. Not for the price I paid, but some headbands. These are Pioneer Woman. A book. I've got a bunch of shoes, so I just do a mix of kids stuff and like accessories. So if y'all are interested in seeing me upgrade my booth sometime this week, me doing a video, let me know. But I want to get this kitchen and living room cleaned up and then I want to try today to go and work in that back room. So Mason just had this apple cherry by Gerber baby food that comes in a two pack. He ate the whole thing. Um, and I had to open it with my teeth because I couldn't get it open with my hands and my fingers. And a little bit got in my mouth. And it actually didn't have a bad taste. It was like an apple with cherry. It was, I would eat this myself almost. So, um, if you have a baby or a grandchild or a niece or a nephew, check out the apple cherry baby food. I'm fixing to wash this last pot that's on my stove and we're going to get some other stuff done. So I went outside to throw out a bag of trash and look who decided to make his way inside for a little while. This is a rarity that he just comes in the door and wants to come in, but what do you mean? He decided to run in. I guess because it was sprinkling. I didn't realize it was actually chilly outside today and I put Mason in a tank top and shorts. Yeah. You decided to come inside, Remy? You wanted to come inside? Was it fixing to rain? Yeah, he was out playing with one of the German shepherds in the neighborhood. He has a friend named Max. 
that they run around and play. He's friends with almost all the dogs in the neighborhood, but there's one that does not like him. It's another German Shepherd, but there's two that look different. And the other one he hangs out with all the time. So I have to keep an eye on him because I put him on his runner. He got off, he took off his harness. Every leash I've bought, he's taken off. And the other day, he was headed down the highway with the German Shepherd to go to Walmart, I guess. So I don't know what to do with him, but he can't stay inside all the time because he likes to be outside and I don't want him to be, you know, depressed be inside. You need some flea medicine, don't you? I have his monthly flea medicine. I need to put it on, but I want to give him a bath before I do that. So y'all, I came outside just a few minutes ago to go walk something to Nick's mom's house over there. And look what I just found. But I reached out to Nick. He's offshore right now. He was asleep. I woke him up, sent him pictures, and I made a deal with him to let me keep this dog if it doesn't run off. I don't want to send it to the shelter. It is this dog. Beware when you see this dog. It will not come to anybody. It is starving. I just fed it. And it's the sweetest little dog ever, but it won't come up to me yet. But I have a little sweater. It's kind of windy out today, and he's like really skinny. So I want to try and put the sweater on him maybe if he'll come up to me. He can be warm because he's laying on a trash bag at my neighbor's right here behind our swing to keep warm. So let me show you. My eye is bothering me. I was rubbing it and now it's bothering me bad. See y'all? I don't know what his name's going to be yet, but... Buddy, hey. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Smell me. It's okay. Here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So Nick believes the dog is a female um, just because of the face and the crystal blue eyes. And he won't let me. He was going to bring it to the shelter because he didn't want any more animals. We have so many animals around here. I was like, well, Walmart can't hurt. He's like, no, I don't want it. And then I showed him the blue eyes and he said, I'm keeping the blue eyed dog. So if it's a female, we definitely, I never brought Remy to get fixed, but if it's a female, we definitely got to bring Remy to go get fixed because I don't need any golden retriever mixed with whatever that is. But right now, I told y'all I wanted to go through my dresser drawers and get rid of stuff. So I'm working in my bedroom and that's what we're doing. So let's get a trash bag. So the bottom three drawers of this dresser I've never used because Nick has some stuff in here. And then I don't even know who some of this stuff belongs to. I think some of these clothes, two, one of this is empty. I used the bottom one. So I have two empty ones since the bottom one holds my shoes. But I have pants in here that are too big for me, these will fit. But I do have some that will fit. I'm separating into piles because I've never organized this dresser correctly. Um, I'm gonna separate into piles, pants, leggings, shorts, because I wanna make a t-shirt drawer. So, there's a t-shirt. Y'all know I love my t-shirts and um, I got to where I only hang like my nicer shirts and dresses um, and I just fold my t-shirts. So, a lot of these clothes y'all probably saw in like thrift hauls and stuff. That's where I get most of them. They fit really well. I need to try some of them on though because I have not tried. I really like these. They fit, but I don't wear them often, but I'm going to keep them for right now. These are from like three years ago. Sorry, this is the, those. I'll have to retry them on later. This shirt is a t-shirt for me. I've never worn these shorts. I thrifted a long time ago, so that's going to go in my trash bag. I'm going to challenge y'all. I want to try just cleaning my house out. And I saw a tip online. This is Nick's shirt. I don't even know why it's in here. His socks are in here too. So we're going to try 
He's never even worn this shirt again. We're going to get rid of it. He won't even miss it. Um, so what I saw online, it says basically that you get a trash bag and you just throw everything in there that you're getting rid of. It doesn't matter if you're getting rid of it. You're going to sell it. You're going to donate it. You just take a trash bag, fill it up. And then once you get it cleaned, then you go through and you decide what you're going to do with it. But I was like, well, that's a really good idea. So what is these? Oh, I forgot I had these. Perfect. Mason's right here in his bed. And we're going to get rid of these jeans because they do not fit me. Right? They're too short on me. So hold on a second. So that drawer's empty. Now we're gonna go into my pajama drawer. All my pajamas, pretty much, I wear all the time. But I have underwear and socks, and I definitely need to get rid of some of these. Like, this is a nursing bra, and I never wear it anymore. So we're gonna throw that. This fits well. It's my fluffy socks I like. I never wear this bra, I do not like it. So I'm gonna throw that out. This one fits. The slingshot underwear that I got from Cheeky Balls, they're going to. So that one can go. Never even been worn. This, I really like it, but it has no support to it. Um, so that's going to go. I think this is another pair of slingshots. Nope. I call them slingshots because I hate them so much. These are too big. Some of these don't fit right. We're going to get rid of those. Not a slingshot that came from Cheeky Balls. I don't even buy those. It's a good fit. These are too big. This one fits right. This fits. So what I'm doing is basically trying to get rid of stuff that I never wear or doesn't fit. This fits right. What size is this? That's too big. And then the rest of these are socks. So I'm going to put this stuff back up. So now we're going to try on the shorts that I've thrifted the last month. We're gonna see if they fit. If not, I'll put them in my boutique. So these shorts are from the loft. Loft, they don't fit, so those are going. Nice basketball shorts I had from before I had Mason. They used to be big, but they fit really good now, so we're gonna keep those. These fit, I bought these from a friend for like three bucks. Fit really well. A little short for my liking, but I'll wear them, they're cute. These, they fit. They're a little loose in the hips. I don't know, I think I'm gonna part with these. These fit really well. These would go well with a black or a navy blue t-shirt. So I'm gonna keep these. These blue jean shorts are too big. We're gonna part with those. These fit, I had to cinch them in on the little elastics right here. But I don't know, what do y'all think on these? The seersucker bottoms that are a medium are fitting like a large and they need to go. This is a pair, sorry, that I bought a while back. If you can see, it's a 14 from Oshkosh, but they're really loose, so I'm gonna let these go. These are my little cheetah ones. They still fit really well, so it's a keep. So Pop Fit sent me these. I didn't care for this print. They sent me like four other pairs. I'm keeping those, I mean three other pairs, but I'm gonna get rid of these. And I was able to fit all my shorts, leggings, and jeans into one drawer. So, it's been an adventurous day. I've been in there cleaning the room. It's not all going to get done today. My living room's still a mess. I need to put clothes to wash. Between the stray dog and now Dolly, Nick's grandma's dog, and Remy. I don't know which one did it. I don't know if it's a hen, it's a bird. I don't know what it is. I got to wait till Nick's mom gets back so we can figure it out. But one of them killed it and ripped it open and is eating it apart. So, it's been a day. Mason's very fussy trying to get him to go to sleep. So I guess we'll figure out. Hopefully it's not one of our chickens or birds. I've never seen it, but it's ripped open, so it's kind of hard to tell. 
And I'm not going to show y'all that on camera. I'm not. But it's it's rough. So we just went and looked at the, the chicken. It was not a chicken. It was our good hen that we get most of our eggs from. So now this sucks because now. So it's a 99% that Remy will be going back to the shelter. Um, next week. I hate to do it, but we're fixing to get baby chicks as well, and I just can't have him, you know, tearing up chickens. I've tried everything to keep him away from it. He breaks off of harnesses, leashes, runners, everything, so he's probably just going to have to go back, but I'm fixing to feed Mason some baby food. I'm doing this apple chicken. This is the first time he's had chicken, so let's see how he likes it. You want to do a taste test? You want to try this? Is it good? Is it good? It smells like chicken. Must be good. Because he will spit it out if he don't like it. Is it good? Mmm. I don't like how this smells, but he likes it. So I just called my grandpa. Nick and I have been talking about building a bookshelf for the kids. We just have so many books, chapter books, kids books, everything. We just, we think, you know, all the books are just piled everywhere, you know. So we're talking about getting a bookshelf. My, I called my grandpa and he's going to see if he can build one. If he has enough stuff, scrap stuff laying around. But we shall see. Somebody's going to have to make one or we're going to have to go buy one because we desperately need a bookshelf. So, let me finish feeding him this and I'll update y'all. So, I never ended up being able to make those sub sandwiches I wanted to make. The bread was fixing to go bad. So, before it molded, I gave, I think, three to the stray. I don't even know what his name's going to be yet. We have decided we're going to keep him. Remy... He's just, he takes off down the highway. I mean, I gave him two, but that's that. I don't know. I hate to say we're going to have to give him back, but he needs to be in a home with a fence somewhere without chickens, you know. So it breaks my heart. The kids love him, but he's just not going to work out for our family. Um, but since our stray did show up, we will be keeping him. I'm pretty sure it's a male when he stood up. I could tell. Give me name suggestions for him. So, I just made for just myself some Idaho roasted garlic mashed potatoes for dinner. I'll eat that whole thing myself because I didn't eat lunch. Um, I just kind of snacked all day. But, have y'all ever had the Grandma's chocolate chip cookies? Oh my gosh, I am in love. And I just figured out Amazon has a 30 pack for $16. You bet. I'm going to order some. I'm going to order a box. There's like six different flavors in there. I only like two or three of the flavors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the other ones for like the ones that we don't eat. Um, we get the box in. I'm just going to sell the other ones in a flea market booth because people love them. So they bought them before that I've ordered, but I ordered them from walmart.com. I didn't realize Amazon had them. I'm going to order them right now. So I decided that we were going to bring Grimmy to the shelter next week um text nick he knew about the hen and he says no remy is not going for one nick's not an animal lover at all he does not like animals other than barn animals remy will not let him pet him he swears he did not like remy um but now he's finning finning for remy and will not let him go so apparently remy staying and apparently Remy didn't kill the hen even though he's not here to have known who killed the hen so I guess Remy's staying Nick decided 
that he wants Remy to stay. So, Hayden got mad at me when he heard that Remy was leaving. So, Nick just saved some broken hearts. But Remy's a handful. <laughs> it's fine. He prefers to be outside anyways. As long as he doesn't go around any more birds, we'll have to figure that out. But, I guess Remy is going to be a family member forever because Nick will not let him be adopted out again. So, apparently there's an attachment he won't admit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's a happy ending because Remy will be staying. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.